So the uh, Pittsburgh Steelers are one of those quarterback needy teams, right? They are. I was on our quarterback carousel, right? Good time. Quarterback uh, needy teams. We identified a handful of quarterback needy teams. The Pittsburgh Steelers are one of those teams, and they have done what, Chris Brockman? What's just happened with the Pittsburgh Steelers? Well, breaking news. According to everyone, the Steelers have reached an agreement on a two-year deal with Mitch Trubisky. There you go. Mitchell. Mitchell. Mitchell Trubisky. Come on. Come on, man. Mitchell. Former number two overall pick. Going to Pittsburgh to be the successor to Ben Roethlisberger. Ben Roethlisberger, everybody. Um, Two reasons why um, he is a a happy camper right now. Uh, Number one is uh, his Pro Football Hall of Fame induction date no longer is going to be shared with Tom Brady. (laughs) Think about that. Do you think that Ben... Yes. Scratched Brady like a ten million dollar check to play one more year. <laughs> I don't know uh, Just if, for the, this. if that's a cap violation of any sort. <laughs> so uh, I would I would doubt I'd say I doubt that. All right. uh, but uh, and then the next gift is when somebody leaves. Look, um, everybody's a, a you know a fan of their the team that they've been a part of for a long time, and they wish no ill will. Um, <laughs> but you know anybody who leaves a spot where they've been a long time and has an affinity for that spot, whether you have uh, left of your own volition or not, you just part of you. And and again, uh, this, this might reveal my own pettiness, but part of you wants the person who follows you to prove (laughs) your worth. Factual. All right. You just want that person. You don't want you don't want him to struggle per se. But just to show, you no. know, what the team is in fact losing. Missing. Yes, you're right. Okay. Right? <laughs> and you also don't want to be the guy after the guy. That's a tough spot. You want to be the guy who went after the guy who was after the guy. Like you want that spot too. But that's if you're entering a situation. Um so Ben Roethlisberger today upon the news that the first starting quarterback of the Pittsburgh Steelers, most likely, you got to say that, um, after his departure, after Ben Roethlisberger's departure, the fact that this person is Mitchell Trubisky has got to um, bring a little bit of joy into Big Ben's life. Don't want to put my pettiness into him. I don't. (laughs) But these are facts. You think Ben is sitting at home going, yes. Just like a little fist pump? Just a little bit. I mean, honestly, just ask, you know, if you hook Breeze up to sodium pentothal for a moment, ask him how he thought the quarterback situation of the New New Orleans Saints went. Ask Brady. What do you think? Do you think Brady, after leaving New England, you know part of him was just like, yeah, you you see what you missed? While he won a Super Bowl. But just removing the pettiness and talking the football aside. Um, look, Mike Tomlin said he wanted mobility at the position. He he wanted some agility at the position. He wanted somebody who can move around. And Mitchell Trubisky can do that. That is for sure. That is for sure. And we will now see. What it was, what what it was in Chicago. Was it a Nagy problem? Was it a Trubisky problem that Nagy lost his job over because they had to draft somebody new and then the team kind of lost patience and figured Nagy wasn't the guy? And then we'll find out, maybe, if Trubisky does have a new lease on life and, an, and a ceiling, I'm curious to see what the numbers are. I thought he was going to get paid, but a two-year deal makes it seem to me he's not going to get a bank broken. And then again, it just shows you that Pittsburgh just needs to get something going here to try and get somebody who has some experience, somebody who does have upside, somebody who does know how to succeed in cold weather games, which Mitchell Trubisky has shown, and can potentially succeed at the position. But what this tells me is Pittsburgh is still going to draft a quarterback in the first round. That's what this 
this does not at all mean that somebody's not coming because somebody who's coming isn't ready to play right now. And a two-year deal with Mitchell Trubisky shows let's kick the can down the road a bit. Joe Manganiello, our friend, the actor, diehard Steeler fan, pointed out no reason to go make a big swing at quarterback. We're not ready to do that right now. We need to take our medicine. We need to rebuild that line. We need to rebuild this team. This shows that the Steelers are fully aware of that and making a two-year deal for Mitchell Trubisky, who I hope has a significant upside. I've heard nothing but good things about him. He's been on the show a couple of times, right? Good guy, good person. Good things should happen to those folks. And having an opportunity to start again in this league for the Pittsburgh Steelers is something that is a good thing to happen to a good person. But I would uh, counsel Steelers fans to prepare themselves for said medicine. That is coming because unless Trubisky has radically improved and used those mental reps to get rid of the inconsistencies that Bears fans found maddening. This move for the moment has a whiff of brister to it. Little bit of the bubby. (laughs) Shooting you straight. That's the Pittsburgh Steelers right now. And they could potentially have a look. Uh, this guy could have maybe a little bit of the Maddox as yeah, well. Yeah. You draft somebody in the first round, you don't expect to have to start right now because he's from a smaller school a la Miami of Ohio. You are forced to go to said first round draft choice. And the guy turns into a generationally great player. That could happen as well. Happened before, could happen again. But I think 20th overall, Steelers select a quarterback. That's what this looks like to me. And Trubisky is the old stopgap with an upside that you never know. That would be a good problem to have. You draft yourself a quarterback in the first round, and Trubisky shows he's pretty good. Yeah. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.